Hello my YouTube friends how are you all doing I hope you all are doing great so firstly I would like to apologize for not uploading the uh, content why bad content uh, I have been busy with my work stuff nevertheless here I am with a wonderful and interesting topic that is downloading the attachments from uh, msd files so we have all uh, might have faced a situation where we are storing our uh, uh, emails uh, mess email messages in msd format in shared path or shared drive or it can be your local uh, drive so the might be a, a requirement where you wanted to download uh, the attachment from your uh, email body or uh, sorry email messages uh, and uh, we all know the activities of reading the email downloading the attachment through outlook o365 or exchange mail etc but those won't be uh, helpful over here because here you will be storing in a file format which is msg dot extension uh, dot msg file format so now in such situation how are we going to deal how are we going to deal with uh, extracting the uh, attachments uh, from these kind of uh, files now in this session i'll be explaining how to do that so before we go into it i would like to uh, tell you that i'll be going to use uh, only one uh, activity that is the start process activity and with this activity i will be running a script which will be a visual basic script and through that we can download the attachment from an email message or dot msg file okay so before we get started i would like to showcase what will be our input what will be uh, just to show what will be our input and how uh, your output looks like and this is my uh, uh, msg file i have already opened this message this is how it looks like and it has one text file txt file so this file is nothing but the uh it doesn't contain anything in it just a blank file okay now let me close this okay uh let me close this also we don't need it as of now okay now let's start with writing a uh notepad uh, let's open the notepad and write our w uh, script or um in in another way we the script okay so let to begin with it first we need to do uh, is that as we do it in the uh, macro or uh, uh, vba we just need to first initialize or declare the variables that is first i'll be declaring the application now in this case it will be outlook application next i'll be declaring email a variable which will be our uh, uh, t test uh, msg file and uh, next would be the file which i need to download which will be the test dot xlsx file okay and uh, what i'll be going to do is that i will set the application app is equal to create object and open bracket outlook dot application now i have created an object which belongs to outlook okay let's make it as a uh, capital o right the next step would be we need to set the object for email part right uh, we already created an object right we need to use that object to for the email message that is text dot msg message to to do that app dot create item from template okay that's a function and then i need to pass the file which 
as the one which I have mentioned. Now here in this case, the file has not been declared yet, right? So I need to give the path of this particular file. So let me do one thing from the copy as just uh, give me a minute let copy as path let me go back to this file now here file is equal to the path okay now what i did here is that first thing i have created the object okay outlook application Oh, the spelling is wrong over here. Sorry about that. Oh. Outlook application. Then I have set the email uh, value by using the object and passing the file path. Okay. I have converted this .msg and I, I try to open it through object which is I have created using Outlook application. Okay, now let's create a module which is download attachment attachments. Okay, inside this, I will pass the email message that I have uh, set in the above step. Okay, now let's create uh, write the code for download attachment attachments inside the bracket. What I will have to do is uh, object, right? Object, I'm passing the object. So, object mail, sorry, object mail, and then we need to download, right? So, for each, let's do this where uh, we bought uh, our code uh, reads all the attachment and downloads the attachment. For each attach in, let me copy the this in here dot attachments, then next step would be download them or uh, in another terms save them attach dot save as file where you want to store them so let me uh, store them in this file path the project directory the entire project directory file path so let me copy this entire path go back to my code paste it over here backslash close this let me make it this in this way yeah now ampersand then attach dot file name okay you get the file name over there now the next step would be we need to uh, perform this next and then end the sub so let me give a space over here so that it is readable now for what i did is i have created the variables for, and then i have assigned the values for file and set the values for or set the references and values for application and email now called uh, i have uh, called this particular sub or module download attachments now in the download attachment what i did is for each attachment in the object this email object i will be uh, saving the files in this particular file path with the attachment name now you need to do control s okay this will be the same path select all type now here we be script uh, we be script dot 
the bs so you will be storing it in dbs extension now once that is done save it okay now let me go back to this okay if you see this is what my code now okay let me close this let me go back to uipath studio and get that activity called start process give the path of this that's all is needed and then run this okay this is done now what let me before i show the uh, output what i mentioned in the code download the attachment from this file into the project directory right voila see the test file got saved over here from the attachment so with the simple db script you can just run the code using one, only one activity called start process and get the result isn't it an amazing thank you for watching this session and thank you so much for all the support please do subscribe share like and comment uh let's meet up again in next uh, next week with more interesting topics until then stay safe stay healthy goodbye